Hey guys, welcome to the 39th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Stream Writer class. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is two buttons and a text box. And this write button right here is disabled on startup, and I'll show you why later. Also, you're going to need to be using the system.io namespace because the Stream Writer class is inside of this. Uh, system.io namespace just like the string reader class. And right here we have a private string path and that will be set equal to the uh, open file dialog's file name or the path to the file that the open file dialog opens. So then we can use this path later to create an instance of a string writer. And also it uh, enables button 2 or this write button right here um, only when the user opens a file. So now when uh, you click the write button, we're going to want to create a new instance of a stream writer. So we're going to do stream writer, SW for stream writer, or you can name it anything you like. And then set it equal to a new stream writer. And then do file dot open write, because we are going to be writing this time and not reading. And then inside of here, we're just going to want to put the path. And we already created a string for that, so we're just going to use this path string. Alright, so now once we have our stream writer created, we can do sw.write. And basically this will just write into our text file. So we're just gonna want to do we're just gonna want to have it write the contents of textbox one. So this time this way we can write text inside of textbox one and it will just write that into our text file. And then we're just gonna want to dispose of this uh, stream writer so that we don't get any uh, errors like being used by another process or something like that. So now when we debug, you can see this write button is disabled and it will only be enabled when we open a file. Like if we don't open a file, it's, it's not enabled. So now we open our text file and now our button is enabled. We can uh, write something to our file. I'm just going to have it write my name is Adam. So I can click write and that will just write it into the text file. So now if we go back into uh, notepad right here, open up that text file, we should see my name is Adam. Yep, my name is Adam. And we can write something else here as well. If we wanted to write mm, just hello, click write, reopen the file, and we see hello. Well, it did write hello, however, instead of just um, deleting everything that was there and then writing hello, it just wrote hello over what was already there. And there's a reason why. It did open write instead of create. And if we do dot create, then what it will do is it says creates or overwrites a specified file with a specified buffer size, file options, and file security. And basically what that means is it will delete everything that is there and then it will write instead of just writing. So now when we write here, we should only see what we write in this text box and nothing else, nothing that was previously there. So if we just write Adam this time, click write, open up our file in notepad, should see Adam. Yep, all we see is Adam, there's nothing else there. If we were to write something larger, just like I am Adam, re, oops, reopen that, Yep, we just get I am Adam. So now there is another method here besides just write. We can do dot write line. And what this will do is it will create a new line. So we can just, we'll just have it write the contents of text box one. And then we'll just have it write another line saying, um, this is. This is the second line. So now when we debug and write, should this write Adam? So now when we open our file in, or in Notepad right here, there should be two lines. There should be a line that says Adam because that's what we wrote or typed in text box one, and then we should get another line saying this is the second line. Now go to that notepad, open it up, 
get Adam, and this is the second line. Now, if we were to do the right method here again, it would still create another line. And that is because following this line, it um, puts a special character that will create another line no matter what is typed after it. So if we were to type, just, I don't know, Adam here again, then it would be on another line. It's right. Hello at the top. Click right. Now we should have three lines this time. Yep, we have hello, this is the second line, Adam. But if we were to do right again, then the key difference here between right line and right is right line will only will only be the one that um, will create a new line after it. But right doesn't do that. So if we do uh, right again, then this will still be on the same line as Adam. So if we were to write space and then my last name here, then we should get Adam space my last name, and that should all be on the same line. Let's click right, we'll just write hello at the top again. Click right. We open it up, and again, we should see only three lines here, but following this, we should see a space and then my last name. Open. Yeah, don't save. Yeah, and there we go. We see hello. This is the second line. Adam space my last name. And again, that's because after this and because of this right line method, it'll create another line after it no matter what you type. So that's it for the uh, 39th C sharp tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we're going to be looking at writing bytes. So see you guys.